my favorite part of teaching? Um, I guess just, I guess getting up and actually getting to teach and have kids listening to me and asking me questions and enjoying coming to class. I love the kids, but the staff here is just, I mean, it's amazing. Like to come to work every day with the people I work with, it just makes my job so much easier. When I first started, they asked me to teach Science Club, or sponsor the Science Club, which is an after-school activity. And I did not know what to do for Science Club, so uh, the first year I did sort of Mr. Wizard kind of tricks, and then I got into alternative energy and renewable energy, and I wrote a couple grants and I won them for A-plus for energy, and I was able to acquire an old school bus, and we painted it, and we fixed it, and we, it ran on, ran on biodiesel. And so I would take the kids on field trips and I remember I had one student named Bernard and we were driving on 94 past Chicago White Sox uh, Park and he had asked me, he said, oh, is that the White Sox? Is that where they play? And I said, yeah, you've never seen that? He's like, no, Miss Kay, I've never left Chicago Heights. So that really inspired me, like, I gotta really get these kids out there, give them some experience. What I'm proud is to see the kids learning a new language because me not being uh, American born, I know what they go through to acquire another language. And when I see that in their eyes that they got what I'm trying to teach them, that's a, very, a good proud moment for me. To come back and say that, you know, I'm from the area, you know, still gives me a foothold to relate with our student population and their parents. And, um, you know, and as a matter of fact, we have, you know, some of the parents are former classmates and students that I've gone to, you know, that went through Bloom at the same time I was here. You know, so that it's been a chance to reconnect with people in that respect and see their kids grow up and, and help them grow up and, you know, like keep an eye on my friends' kids you know, my teammates' kids while they're here at Bloom, you know, and that's, that's meant a lot to me because when we were here, we were like a family. Last year, the most amazing experience was we put together a science family fun night. And to see not only our students involved and just excited about science, but the little ones came in from the feeder middle schools, from all the elementary schools in the area, they were having a wonderful time and getting excited about the subject. Because that's my philosophy is, as a teacher, I want to get them excited about science. When I was in high school, I applied to be a Golden Apple Scholar. So in 1999, I was awarded the Golden Apple Scholarship. And in 2009, I was able to help one of my students get that award as well. So I helped a student get a $25,000 scholarship to college. And when I decided I wanted to be a teacher, I wanted to be able to help students, not only inside of the classroom, but outside of the classroom. So for me, that was kind of a defining moment because it was literally 10 years after the day that I got my scholarship. When I first walked through the halls of Moon Trail 13 years ago, um, it was it was scary. The experience was scary. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, you know, I kind of was living in the community. I heard a lot of things about the school here. And then when I got here, I realized that this school is great. They have great kids. There's great teachers. It's a family here. That's why I've stayed for 13 years. I feel like my coworkers are my friends my family, I feel like my students are my other children, they're my kids, and I want all of them to succeed. I am Bloom Township. 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 I could not be prouder.